Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, and welcome to another edition of Mod Mashup. Alright, so we haven't done a Mod Mashup in a while, and I mentioned I was going to be doing one probably this weekend, and this is the one we're going to be doing. Okay, so the mod we're talking about today is... Not that. This. <laughs> this is the Roto Gator. Um, can you actually walk up here? Sweet. Uh, this is the Roto Rogator. Sorry, not Roto Gator. Rogator. Wow, that's pretty detailed. Can we do anything on the top here? So this is a obviously a sprayer. Uh, the sprayer comes from American Eagle Modding. Just recently came out not too long ago. Thought it was a cool looking model, so I thought I'd do a little of a, a little mod mashup on it. I think they made it from scratch actually. Um, doesn't appear to be anything you can do from the outside. You can clip through that a little bit. Oh, it's got the little those little things right there. Are, those are used for, uh, I believe, just to mark where the boom's edge, the boom's edge is. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, you can clip through the wheels a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Let's hop in. So, uh, let's just see what the info has to say. So this is the info that comes with this thing. Not very helpful when you have the manual ignition mod on, but um, let me turn it off. I'm gonna start it up first so you won't, but we don't have that little thing up there. So I'm gonna be quiet and let you guys hear the startup sound here. There you go, not, not a bad little, uh, not a bad little uh, startup sound. Uh, so what do we got? Flash red, flash left, flash right, warning. U changes the wheels. Oh, oh, it changes the steering, not necessarily the wheels. Okay, so that's the all-wheel steering. Uh, that's just front. And that's the, it doesn't have crab though, but it has the all-wheel steering like that. Cool. Left control in combination with working which width. All right, so what else do we got here? We have left control combination work keypad four. Whoa! I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but uh, let me do that again. Okay, so watch the wheels right here. Okay. Interesting. So see, you can make it narrow or wider depending. So does four do that again? No, it's six. So four brings it in, six puts it out, it looks like. Or not. Oh yeah, there you go, six puts it out. So you can spread it out a little bit. Height control, so it's keypad eight or two. Okay, so that's probably when you have it unfolded, I imagine. So this is a bit different from your regular Amazon Pantera, whatever they're called. Uh, but that's pretty cool, you can adjust the working width like that. This is what the interior looks like. Let's just close that down. Interior looks pretty darn good. Ah, for one that was made, uh, that's not the original one. It's pretty good. Speedometers don't work. Steering wheel turns. Pedals don't appear to work. Any IC? No. The mirrors. Wow, do those mirrors actually work or is that just me? Uh, as you can see, you can open up the door. So that was... There's, you can put the elevator, the elevator. You can put the stairs down. You can close the door like so. Excellent. You can put the blinkers on if you want to. So let's go ahead and narrow those tires down a little bit there. Nice. All right, now let's go ahead and fill it up from our fertilizer here. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. Refill type description, unfortunately. Someone didn't type the description in there. Uh, how much does this thing hold? I believe it holds 15,000. Um, I'll show you what it looks like in the in the, in the store in just a second here. Uh, let's just see what field we hold seven, okay. Uh, do we have, of course, oh, we have outline one. Okay, let's do this then. Yeah, so 15,000 it holds. So, one thing I noticed is when you're starting from a standstill and you turn the wheels like that, it doesn't like to go very fast. It doesn't start very quickly. Uh, but after you get going, it's pretty nimble, actually. 
Uh, so, let's go to field one there. Uh, as you can see, it does about 50 kilometers an hour. You can put the, uh, what was it, eight? Doesn't want to go up now, go figure. All right, anyway, so you can put the ladder up there if you want to or not. It looks like those mirrors actually do work. That's pretty cool. Uh, does it say anything about min mirrors? No. Oh, yes, mirrors. Keep keypad 2. Oh, right control. So if you press right control with keypad 2 or 8. Oh, you can actually adjust the mirrors too? Wow, that's cool. So I... I need I don't know, they adjust it up, so it's eight, four, you can put them out. Wow. That is cool. Wow. That is nifty. Wow. All right, and let's bring the... So if for those people who might have problems with mirrors and whatnot, um, in terms of giving lag, those will probably give a lot of lag for you, I imagine. Alright, so here we go. Opening up the booms here. It, I don't know, it doesn't say how wide it is, but it looks to be about similar size as the... Uh, maybe about 36 meters or so. Alright, so you're supposed to be able to uh, lower... What was it? Eight and two. So if I do this or two, it should raise or lower the height of the boom. So doesn't help when you have the grouping mod, though. No, it doesn't seem to. But it looks like, it looks like I'm sure you can. Am I hitting this something? There we go. No, no, no. Oh, that's just the wheels again. All right. So let me just show you what it looks like right off the bat here. So, I'm going to just start her up here. Check that out. I thought that was one of the, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this. Because check that out. That's pink. It looks so cool. Uh, very different from what you're used to seeing. So, I thought that was a nice little touch that they added on there. Um, let's just see how wide this actually is. So, we're going to go ahead and load this course. Duh, duh. And let's just give an idea how big this actually is. So, I'm guessing it's probably around 30 meters. Somewhere in that range. Um, that's my guess. We're already past 10 meters here. 15. Oh, maybe it's only 20. No, that's 20. 25, 26. Maybe 29 meters, looks like. 29, somewhere in that area. So it's about 29 meters, probably about close to 30 uh, with everything else. Um, but that's what it looks like when you turn it on. It looks like... Hmm. So that's what it looks like when you turn it on, and that's what it looks like when you fold it in. Now, what corner was that? That was the northeast corner, heading west. Um, so, we are on the fertilization course right now. So I, as you, if you follow me at all during the Let's Plays, um, you'll know that I like to use course play quite a bit. And uh, this is no exception, so I like to test things to see whether they work for course play. So, let's give this a go. We're just going to start from the nearest point here. No, we don't want to mow anything. So, as you can see, this is fertilization and seeding mode. Nothing happens. Um, so, it doesn't appear to work properly with course play in the appropriate mode. So, let's try and put it into field work mode. Now, it does kind of work in field work mode. Um, see how it's... See how it's kind of it has the booms and they're they've turned on, um, so it looks like it could it does kind of work, uh, but it wouldn't work as it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and unfold the booms completely, and let's just go from there and see how this works. So this is what what should be able to do, right? So we have the booms out. Hey, let's go and head and fertilize our course. See, I don't know why it decides to fold the booms back up. Uh, I'm not sure the reason behind that. And the weird thing is, so see, watch is going to 
fold the booms in here, and then it's going to turn it on, if I remember right. Yeah, see, it doesn't even work. So there we go. I went drive now, and that's what it's doing. A little suboptimal. <laughs> so it'll drive your course, but not with the arms out, apparently. I don't know. Apparently, if you if you if you open it up yourself, you can do it. But yeah, that gives you an idea. But anyways, uh, if you want to do it manually, I guess you could use it in term. Actually, let's just try that. Might as well. So, is it gonna drive forward now? No, doesn't want to. Okay, so doesn't seem doesn't appear to work very nicely with uh, course play, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a. Uh, the GPS to try and see if that works with that. Just to give you an idea. This is a mod I've been using lately for those who, who don't know, but you know, this could be a way of doing your field without having to use course play all the time. What is it? Two? One? No. Oh. There we go. I have to keep remembering what's what. So, let's just see. Uh, it appears to work actually with course play. So, or course play with the GPS mod. So you could use this for the GPS mod, uh, but it doesn't appear to work with the uh, with course play, unfortunately. So, yeah, there you go. That's how that works. That's not too bad. I, I really like the way it looks. Like it's different, really different, which is nice. It's even like this between this pink right here. I think that's really cool. The fact that you can uh, has that as well. Um, but given the fact that you could use this with the GPS mod, that would be a nice little addition uh, to a farm. It could be a nice, you know, uh, could work as a... Uh, doesn't work with course play, unfortunately, but it does work with the GPS mod, as you can see. Uh, which is funny, because usually it, it works with one, not the other. But, um, there you go. That's how that works. Nice. So, there you have it. As soon as I get out of it, mind you, it's going to stop working. <laughs> but, as you can see, there you go. Even gives you a ramp to come down. Or a little ladder. So that is the Rogator from American Eagle Modding. Check it out. I'll put a link in the description. My name's Ian Robson. This has been Farming Simulator 2013. Coming at you from a mod mashup. Catch you guys later.